Stephanie, I'll share with everyone parts of what you shared with me, if that's okay. That you met Jake 11 years ago when you were 12, Jake was 13, that Jake played baseball and had an afro full of hair. <laughs> and in your opinion, was the best looking boy you had ever seen. Stephanie, I, I don't know if you know this, but Jake, literally, you are the woman of his dreams. He has said that since he was probably a freshman in high school. Stephanie, will you take Jake as your husband? Jake? Will you take Stephanie as your wife to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? I promise. I promise. Before God, I, Jake. I, Stephanie. Take you, Stephanie, to be my wife. Take you, Jake, to be my husband. To have and to hold. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For rich or for poor. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. Until death do us part. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure and honor to announce for the first time, Jake and Stephanie and Hadley, for the first time as Mr. and Miss James Granville Goodman III. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my promise. And with all that I am. And all that I have. I honor you. I want to read a portion of something, Stephanie, you wrote to me. Looking back, I know the reason we never worked out when we were younger is because God was waiting for just the right moment. God's timing is undeniably perfect. For some reason, He loved us and trusted us enough to bring into the world a beautiful baby girl. Hadley was a piece of the puzzle we didn't even know was missing. She brings out the best in us, and reminds us that innocence and unconditional love still exist. She has taught us to live in the moment, to laugh every day, and most importantly, to love beyond words. Jake, I'm just so glad that you're finally my brother after all these years. Family's just precious and amazing families, you know, are just hard to come by and Stephanie is just so blessed. Finally, the scriptures say this, love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it is not rude, it is not self-seeking. 
It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects and always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. It is God that has put this puzzle together, which has become such a blessing to you both. And it should be considered Him and Him alone who now calls you into these promises.